welcome everybody my name is the IT guy and in this video we'll be looking at how to get the group uh, the grip excuse me group not the group the grep bootloader back on um, pop os so by default pop os comes equipped with this thing called systemd dash boot boot manager and for a lot of people, including myself, it's an annoyance to always having to go into the boot menu and having to select your uh, operating system you want to boot off. Uh, it's much easier to just have like one bootloader that just lists all the operating systems installed on the computer and just have that be your default bootloader and just using the arrow keys to select the operating system or just waiting for the timeout to boot your default uh, operating system. So the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to install some pieces of software. And the first thing we're going to install is the Grub Bootloader, of course. Uh, by default, it is installed in PopOS, I believe. But if you want to be sure, just type in sudo apt install uh, grub2-common. And just type in the password here. And as you can see, it is already installed, so I don't have to do that. And the next thing you want to install is the grub dash uh, customizer. So this is already installed on my computer, so I don't need to worry about that. So once those two packages are installed, all you'll need to do is you'll need to type in uh, sudo grub dash install. So this is it. So actually, this. It's, there's nothing more you need to do, so it installed the grub bootloader on the system, but the grub bootloader is not yet configured. So by default, you'll just get the grub menu and you'll just get this uh, this prompt that says enter a command whenever you boot into grub, because grub needs to be configured first. And you will see that within a minute if we go into our files here, we go over to other locations, we enter computer, we go into boot, and then we enter EFI, we enter the password. Uh, you might need to enter the password twice here, um, but then we go into EFI again, and then we'll find um, into this uh, menu over here, into this folder over here, we'll find a folder called Ubuntu, and it calls this Ubuntu because it, you know, PopOS is based off Ubuntu, and Grub Bootloader just detects it as Ubuntu. So we'll go into Ubuntu, we'll load up the grub.cfg file, and what do you know, it's actually pretty much empty. Three lines are written, that's not what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and close that up. Uh, let's go into our activities and let's type in grub customizer. Let's enter our password here. And right out of the bat, let's go into file. Let's go into change environment, just to be sure to know where our output file is going to be stored. So our output file is in slash grub slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg. We could change this, but I rather leave it at default and just copy the file afterwards. If you want to change this, you can change that to the to uh, to to be um, the folder which we are uh, which we just created our grub file in with the grub install command. But you know. For this, uh, for this video, I'm just going to uh, look at the folder and then just use the grub.cfg file we're going to create and let's just copy that over here. So go ahead and quit that and whoops, looks like our grub customizer closed. So grub customizer is going to do one thing. And one thing only, uh, actually, in this video, Grub Customizer does do a lot more than what I'm going to do with this. But uh, for this video, it just needs to do one thing, and that's just create the boot menu that we're looking for. So we are just going to click Save over here. So it's updating our configuration. And then actually all of what is in here, so we have Ubuntu, which is our boot entry for PopOS. We have our Windows Boot Manager, which is our uh, entry for uh, for Windows. Now we have some advanced options like the recovery mode and we can select different uh, kernels, I believe. And then uh, another entry over here, system setup, which is just to go into our UEV firmware. So let's go ahead and close that. Uh, and let's go into um, 
boot again. Let's go into grub and then we have to open up grub.cfg here. That's the file we just created because uh, when we look in uh, the grub configuration file, we know that's in there because of uh, where output file was, uh, where, where our output file is located. So this one has a lot more lines than the three line version that we had in the beginning. So go ahead and close that up. Let's go ahead and copy that. And then let's go into EFI again. Let's go into EFI again. Let's go into Ubuntu and let's copy. Actually, let, let's rename grub.cfg first. Let's rename that to grub.back. Just to have a backup file. And then grub.cfg can be perfectly located in there. And let's close that up. Let's close this up and let's reboot the system and let's see if it worked out. People, so we are now in the... Um, BIOS. I'm in my uh, Gigabyte BIOS here. And as you can see, the first boot option is Ubuntu. This is the new Grub bootloader we just installed. So that's good. You need to, of course, when you want to boot off of uh, a new bootloader, you'll need to uh, provide uh, the right bootloader in the BIOS menu first. Uh, you know, this was actually done by default on my computer, but um, should work. Uh, it could be that you'll need to uh adjust a few things first so bear that in mind so we're gonna save and exit the setup here well i'm gonna reboot the system now and we'll see in just a moment if the grub bootloader is working or not and there we have it it's a little bit different than the one from uh than the one we have from uh, Ubuntu. So as you can see, there are uh, question marks here, but by default, it boots off of Ubuntu. It has a timeout of about, you know, I say 10 seconds or something, or maybe a little bit less. And there we go. We are perfectly booting into uh, Pop! OS. If my camera wants to focus here, yeah. So we are booted into Pop! OS. Everything seems to work just fine. Let's reboot the system again. Let's see if the Windows uh, entry works as well. Okay, so we've selected Windows Boot Manager. Let's see if this works. Yep, seems to work just fine. Okay, that was it. So actually, this was all you need to do, guys. This was just a quick video of me showing you how to get the Grub bootloader back on Pop! OS. Uh, I hope you liked this video, guys, and if you did, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.